Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and Turkey's buildup in uh, Salopi is still, it's not going unnoticed, but, uh, you know, the buildup has been extremely massive, and a lot of people are not really paying attention to how big this buildup is. I'm going to share a little bit with you here. As you can see here on the map here, you have Iraq, you have Salopi right here, the border inside of Turkey on their southern border there, the northern border of Iraq. And they're po poised to do a major offensive. Uh, it's clearly an offensive posturing, just as we see NATO on Russia's border, much of an offensive posturing when you see all this military buildup in one area. And you cannot help but wonder why, though. According to the article here on November 1st, reports appear that the Turkish military was massively deploying military hardware, including battle tanks, to Salopi area that borders with Iraq and Syria. The military grouping arrived from central Turkey. The Ankara regime has said at a number of times that it is set to participate in the ongoing operation to liberate the Iraqi city of Mosul. But the problem with that is, is that the Iraqi government said they don't want Turkey inside of their country. So by whose invitation would they end up in there? All right, now I want to share with you something else. So this here, a uh, friend of ours here on, um, here on Twitter, he has posted numerous one after another after another over the days here of uh, equipment going to Salopi here. As you can see here, these trucks loaded with tanks and stuff. The, the, uh, the battle tanks, these are the, uh, the, the well, I think the MT-60 uh, that is actually headed up there. But it's not just there. We get this photograph here where he picks up the actual um, uh, street webcams showing these tanks headed up to that, that particular region there. Um, as well, we jump up here. Of course, he covers a lot of different things here, showing the Russian uh, Navy moving up into the Syria Mediterranean there. But again, another photograph here showing the tanks headed up uh, in Turkey up to the border of Salopi. Salopi, Salopi, I don't know how you really say this name. Uh, second military convoy reported started his trip towards Salopi, Turkey. Again, another information there and then uh, as we get right here to this evening again a train load of these rascals going up there we're seeing all types of uh, uh, of armaments there and you know it's just showing one photo after another and even in this case here another train load here there is armored personnel carriers, there's trucks, there's, uh, and you can see over here in this side view here, you got tankers up there near the front. Turkey just keeps amassing an unbelievable amount of tanks, equipment, manpower, everything on the border with Iraq. You cannot help but wonder if this is not going to be an actual all-out invasion. It's just really odd, all this buildup here of uh, military equipment there uh, going up there to the border uh, with Russia. I mean, excuse me, with uh, Iraq there. Uh, so very concerning to me to, to watch this happening. Uh, as we've stated before, Russia's Navy fleet is in the Mediterranean there, not far from the Syrian coast. Uh, according to one brother there we posted on Israeli News Live, his video there, he says that the Russian fleet has uh, stopped at Cyprus. Uh, we know Russia actually put together a base there back, uh, we had reported that here on Israeli News Live uh, back at the beginning of the year when they actually did that. Another interesting thing as well is that Russian Navy, Russia's Navy has deployed the Raptor high-speed patrol boats to Syria as well. Well, these types of uh, boats are actually coming in on these uh, huge, uh, this like huge freighter here. So I don't know how many of these boats are on there, but they were seen as they were passing through. You could see the, uh, the boats in there. They actually can carry uh, quite a few men inside of these. They have a two, two main crew, 22 personnel that they can carry. They can also be used for a rescue. They can be used for uh, landing, beach landings, etc. So it just makes you wonder, what is Russia getting ready for over here in in Syria. Some believe that they're planning on doing a major uh, offensive on Aleppo after this latest humanitarian pause. We know that there is that d early dawn attack supposed to come, so we'll just have to wait and see exactly how this all plays out. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.